Hi everyone, uh, let's uh, continue our discussion on uh, preparation of uh, financial statement for limited liability companies. Okay, so in this regard I have uh, selected one question. Let's go through the question, then we'll try to answer the question. Okay, uh, AGPLC imports and exports garment materials. A trainee accountant has drafted some financial information prior to the uh, preparation of financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2020. So 31st December 2020 is the financial year. The following has been provided. So you are given the administration expenses 100,500, uh, cost of sales 897,500, uh, distribution cost 980,500, the total revenue is 4,250,000. And also you are given additional information, office staff salaries owing 25,500, so this is uh, payable. Then sales staff commission is to be provided at a rate of 5%, about 3.5 million of revenue. Okay, so you are given total revenue 4,250,000 uh, and over and above 3,500,000 uh, uh, is to be uh, paid. 5% uh, sales commission okay so that also we need to accrue dividend receipt from investment in other companies 37800 so this is other income bank overdraft 5000 sorry 5100 so these are finance charges 6% uh, bank loan repayable in 2025 the loan amount is 250000 so you need to calculate 6% uh, bank interest on 250,000 loan. Corporation tax to be paid to be paid on profits above uh, 45,000 at a rate of 15% with any amount due being payable in the following year. So when you calculate the taxable profit from the taxable profit you need to deduct 45,000 because over and above 45,000 dollars to be uh, calculated at the rate of 15% as corporation tax. So this is to be provided. So you are required to prepare a statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year in the 31st December 2020. Include as notes a section for finance cost. So you are not uh, required to uh, show notes to the financials for administration and distribution costs. Only the finance cost uh, uh, expenses uh, to be shown as a separate note okay so let's uh, try to uh, calculate this let's try to uh, answer this question first of all we'll start with the uh, statement of uh, profit or loss okay so this is the statement profit or loss okay so first of all we'll start with revenue Okay, so revenue, how much? Revenue is given 4,250,000. Uh, so there are no adjustments to be made for revenue. So therefore straight away you can take uh, 4,250,000. Then you need to deduct the cost of sales. Okay, cost of sales. Okay, uh, I think cost of sales also there are no adjustments adjustments to be made straight away you can take uh, cost of sales 897,500 okay so when you deduct this so what will be the uh, cross profit uh, 4 million 250 minus 897.5 so which will be the gross profit will be so this is the gross profit gross profit will be Three million three hundred and fifty two thousand five hundred. So this is the gross profit. Then gross profit, uh, you need to add other income. You need to add other income before deducting any expenses. Other income. So we have one other income which is dividend. Dividend received from investments in other companies thirty seven thousand eight hundred. So that has to be added here 37,800 so once you add 37,800 the total will be 3,390,300 
three million three ninety three hundred. Okay. Uh, from this, you need to deduct uh, expenses. Okay. Uh, first of all, you need to deduct the distribution cost. Distribution cost. Okay. So distribution cost is nine nine hundred eighty thousand five hundred. But there is an adjustments to be made for the sales commission which has not been provided for. Okay, so we can say working number one. So just uh, show the workings here. Workings, a separate sheet. Working number one to calculate sales commission. How do you calculate sales commission? It is to be calculated over and above three point five million will be five percent. So your total sales. Value is four million two fifty. Okay, so four million two fifty minus three million five hundred. That will be how much? Seven fifty. Okay, on this seven fifty, you need to calculate how much? Five percent sales commission. Okay, so that's going to be how much? Thirty seven thousand five hundred. Okay, so your total distribution cost is nine eighty five hundred. Nine eighty five hundred. So you need to add thirty seven five hundred. Okay. So that's going to be how much? One million eighteen thousand. Okay. So this is the distribution cost. So you can take uh, here one million eighteen thousand. I take it here one million eighteen thousand. Then you have administration cost, admin expenses. Okay. So administration expenses. Also, there is an adjustments to be made for the office staff salaries. Okay, so working number two, working number two, you can say uh, admin cost is how much? Admin cost is hundred, five hundred. To that, you need to add twenty five thousand five hundred. Twenty five thousand five hundred. So that's going to be one twenty six thousand. Okay, so this is one twenty six thousand. Okay, so this needs to be deducted from the uh, the total profit. So this total to be deducted, one million eighteen and one hundred twenty six thousand will be one million one hundred and forty four thousand. So that is the total expenses. So once you deduct from the total profit, so that will be uh, profit before interest and tax. So this is profit. Before interest and tax, okay. Uh, that will be how much? Two million two hundred forty-six forty-six thousand three hundred. Okay. From this, first of all, you need to deduct the finance cost. Okay, finance cost. Okay. So finance cost. There are two components. One is bank overdraft, and the other one is the uh, bank loan interest. So therefore, the working number three finance cost. Uh, first one is the bank OD. Bank OD is five thousand one hundred. To that, you have to add bank interest. Okay, bank loan interest. Which is two fifty thousand times six percent, okay? So two hundred fifty thousand times six percent. So that will be fifteen thousand, okay? So total is twenty thousand one hundred. So that twenty thousand one hundred to be deducted here, okay? So that will be two million two hundred twenty six thousand. Two hundred. So this is uh, profit. Profit before tax. This is profit before tax. Now you have to deduct the corporate income tax. Corporate income tax. Okay, so you need to calculate the working number four. How do you calculate the tax? Tax to be calculated over and above forty-five thousand 
at the rate of 15%. Now we have profit before tax how much? Profit before tax 2,226,200 and the, you have given a cap, the limit 45,000. Okay, so once you deduct this 2,226,200 minus 45,000 which is going to be 2,181,200 on this you need to calculate 15% tax so that's going to be how much 327,000 okay the total amount is uh, the tax amount is 327,180 this is the tax amount which is 15% on this amount 2,181,200. So the corporate income tax is going to be 327,180. Okay, so then uh, profit after tax, this is the profit after tax, is going to be how much? 2,226.2 327 it's going to be 1,899,020 so this is the profit after tax so this is the answer for the first part uh, you are required to prepare a statement of profit or loss and the other comprehensive income for the year in the 31st December 2020 and also include a section for the finance cost so as a note, you can show the finance cost note. Finance cost note you can show. Okay. Uh, first of all, the bank bank OD is 5,100, and also bank loan interest. Bank loan interest at the rate of six percent. You can show 15,000. Okay, which is going to be. 20,100 okay so this is the answer for this particular question okay so uh, in my next session I will try to discuss uh, further question on limited liability companies uh, please let me know if you have any difficult questions so I can make uh, some videos on those uh, topics as well so uh, for the time being I will just uh, wind up the class and I will see you soon uh, with another video. Until then, bye for now.